Good evening, my name is Marina Montano and I am your student body president. Welcome and please stand for the presentation of colors by the Bullen High School NJROTC and the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by the singing of the national anthem by the Bullen High School Choir. Please remain standing until the colors have left the field. America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the rampart we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rockets ringing the bombs bursting in Still there. Oh, say. 
Good evening, everyone. My name is Michael Leos, Senior Class President at BHS. Tonight, I would like to introduce you to our Belen School Principal, Ms. Sonia Lawson. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, community members. I'd like to take a, just a, a few minutes to introduce some important people who help us create this community of learners. And we can't do it alone, and so Bear with me for a moment as I introduce you to a few important community members. First of all, Boleyn Consolidated School Board, Mr. Jim Danner. <laughs> President, Mr. Aubrey Tucker, Vice President. Mr. Max Cordova, Secretary. Mr. Larry Garley, member. And Mr. Larry Lindbergh, member. Mr. Lawrence Sanchez, superintendent. Ms. Renee Sanchez, assistant superintendent of academics. Ms. Annette Torres, assistant superintendent of finance. Will the rest of the BCS, the Blank Consolidated School Board administrators, please stand at this time. Thank you all for all that you do. We appreciate you. As Michael mentioned, I am the principal. We also have Mr. Rhett Burt as assistant principal. Ms. Jessica Torres, Provincio Torres as assistant principal. We also are blessed to have some dignitaries with us this evening. So what I'm going to do is introduce them as a group. If you can hold your applause until that group is over, we can get through it and give them their honor for being here. So thank you. Mr. Greg Baca, State Senator, District 29. Mr. Joshua Sanchez, State Senator, District 30. Elizabeth Liz Stefanik, State Senator, District 39. Brian Baca, State Representative, District 8. Gail Armstrong, State Representative, District 49. Miss Tanya Mirabal, our own Tanya Mirabal Moya, State Representative, District 7. Will you all please stand if you're here and be recognized? <laughs> Next, we have some representatives from Valencia County Judicial Representatives. We have Mr. Alan Smith. 13th Judicial District Court Judge, Ms. Cindy Mercer, 13th Judicial, Judicial District Court Judge, Mr. James Sanchez, 13th Judicial District Court Judge, Wendy Wallace, Valencia County Probate Judge, John Chavez, Belen Magistrate Judge, Barbara Romo, District Attorney, Robin Sims, Deputy District Attorney. Please stand and be recognized. Thank you for being here. UNM Valencia County representatives from the UNM BC campus. I will, again, I will say all the names, and if you are here, please remain standing. Paul Luna, UNM Valencia Advisory Board Chairman. Belinda Martinez, UNM Valencia Advisory Board Secretary. Eloisa Tabat, UNM Valencia Advisory Board Member. Russell Griego, UNM Valencia Advisory Board Member. Jolene Chavez, UNM Valencia Advisory Board Member. Dr. Samuel Dosumu, Chancellor. Laura Musselwhite, UNM Valencia Dean of Instruction. We do know Hank could not be with us tonight. Um, Laverne, that was Hank V. Hill, UNM Valencia Director of Student Affairs. Laverne Rodriguez, UNM Valencia Human Resources. Mr. Joseph Burgess, UNM Valencia Branch Registrar. Victoria Padilla, UNM Valencia Financial Aid Manager. Nayeli Carmona, UNM Valencia Student Success Supervisor. Ms. Rita Garcia, UNM Valencia Branch Recruitment Specialist. If you are here, and stand, please stand to be recognized. Thank you very much. We also have some Valencia County representatives here. Mr. Gerard Seiss, Valencia County Commission Chairman. Jonathan Aragon, Valencia County Commission Vice Chair. 
Morris Barkman, Valencia County Commissioner. Joseph Bazell, Troy Richardson, Danny Monette, all Valencia County uh, Commissioners, and Danny is actually Valencia County Manager. If you're here, please stand to be recognized. Thank you. Jeff Noah, Valencia County Under Sheriff, Mike Milam, Valencia County Clerk, Lachelle Armstrong, Valencia County Chief Administrator, and Kevin Knight, Chief Deputy Clerk. If you're here, please stand to be recognized. Thank you for being here this evening. All right, City of Belen, we know you're representing here this evening. Mr. Our Mayor Robert Noblin, please stand. Thank you, sir. Belen City Council Member Danny Bernal Jr., Mr. Frank Ortega, Tracy Armijo, Keith Norwood, Belen Municipal Judge, James Harris, Belen Police Chief, Charles Cox, Belen Fire Chief, Roseanne Peralta, Belen City Manager. Please stand if you're here to be recognized. Thank you again. I know for one, we cannot do this without your support. Almost there. Rio Communities, Josh Ramsell, Rio Communities Mayor. Margaret Guchar, Rio Communities Mayor Pro Tem and City Council Mayor Member. Lawrence Gordon, Rio Community City Council Member. Jim Winters, Rio Community City Council Member. Arthur Apodaca, Rio Community City Council Member. Noel Chavez, Rio Communities Judge. Andrew Tabbitt, Interim Fire Chief. Dr. Martin Moore, Rio Community City Manager. Please stand and be recognized. We have some additional honorary guests. Mr. Daniel Chadbourne, Hispano Chamber President, please stand. If you're here. Andrew Spears, Chamber of Commerce President. Jessica Nojek, Executive Director, Mission Graduate. Art Melendra, School Attorney from Madras Burling Law Firm. Rona Espinosa, Chamber of Commerce. Please stand and be recognized. Thank you for being here. Parents, grandparents, guardians, and families of the 2023 graduates, we also want to thank you immensely. These kids, we could, they could not do it without you. So thank you for your support. CHS faculty, security, and staff, please stand. We'd like to thank the senior sponsors, Ms. Nadine Luke, Ms. Roisanne Lafayette, and Ms. Misty Torres. Our counselors, they all worked to help support this class. Ms. Angela Duran, Ms. Roisanne Lafayette, Ms. Robin Phillips, and our front office staff, Robin, excuse me, Ms. Leona V. Hill, my, my personal secretary and savior. Mr. Kenneth Zamora, our teacher. The Navy JROTC, thank you. Staters, thank you for helping out today. BHS Intensity Band, BHS Choir, National Honor Society, our maintenance department. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ms. Trinity Lynch, Secretary, Greater Berlin Chamber of Commerce. Thank you for the refreshments for the graduates this evening. UNMVC, thank you. Belen Police Department, Valencia County Police Department, Belen Fire Department. Thank you for being here, supporting us, and being on standby just in case. All right. I think we got everybody. If I miss somebody, please let me know. Kevin Knight, Valencia Deputy, um, Chief Deputy Clerk. Did I mention you? If not, please stand to be recognized. I think you, thank you. All right. I am honored to welcome this class of graduates. We appreciate all that they've worked toward the past few years. They've been through quite a lot. Days such as this are milestones for the graduates and their families. We encourage you to celebrate with decorum so that we preserve the pomp and circumstance and traditions associated with graduation. 
Now I will introduce you to our superintendent, Mr. Lawrence Sanchez. Good evening. Thank you all for joining us tonight to celebrate the class of 2023. Let's give them a hand. It gives me great pleasure tonight. If I could get unzipped here. Oh. To, to introduce our keynote speaker. You know, one of the changes I made when I became superintendent was the superintendent doesn't speak anymore because I, I'm not smart enough to come up with a new speech every year. And really what I wanted was distinguished graduates from Berlin Consolidated Schools. And tonight, our keynote speaker began his journey much like you guys did. Started off at Automeo Elementary, when? Probably 2000, 1900, something like that. He's, he's kind of old. Um, started off at Automeo, made his way to Rio Grande. We had him at Berlin Middle School when I was teaching there. Seven, 16 years ago tonight, or not tonight, but this week, he graduated from Berlin High School. Brad Cordova, after graduating in 2007, he ventured to the U University of Notre Dame where he earned dual bachelor's degrees in physics and mathematics. He took his scientific curiosity across the Atlantic to the Large Hadron Collider in Geneva, Switzerland, where he explored the world of fundamental theoretical physics. Wow. Brad then joined Massachusetts Institute of Technology, also known as MIT, in Cambridge, Massachusetts, for a PhD in artificial intelligence. While earning his PhD, he founded True Motion, a company that has become a game changer in insurance and driving safety, powering Progressive Snapshot, Uber Safety, State Farm Drive Safe, and Save, and other platforms. Recognizing his contribution to the tech industry, Forbes featured him in their 30 under 30 list in 2017. After selling True Motion, he embarked on his next adventure, founding Super AI, where it currently serves as CEO, pushing the boundaries of artificial intelligence technology. And for those of you that went to Central, he's also Miss Cordoba's son. Please help me in welcoming Brad Cordoba. Thanks for the nice introduction. I can't help but to share a funny story. So your superintendent was my football coach and my middle school basketball coach, and um, also the man who taught me how to tie a tie. But I, I vividly remember one Saturday morning practice at basketball, and uh, he was shaking his head at me, and he said, Brad, you're the smartest kid I know, and you're gonna achieve great things in life. But for the life of me, I can't figure out why you can't get this play right. <laughs> so Mr. Sanchez, esteemed faculty, honored guests, proud parents, friends, and most importantly, seniors. <laughs> so I stand before you with the humble task of sharing three simple stories from my life. No grand epiphanies, no groundbreaking revelations, just three stories. So once upon a time, there was a boy who grew up in Belen. He loved Belen. It, it was all he knew. It was his home. He loved his friends. He loved his truck driver father. He loved his teacher mother. He didn't want to leave Belen, but his mentor, a man of great wisdom, said, there's a world out there you need to discover. And so he traveled to the faraway lands of Indiana, Boston, and Europe, and his life was changed forever. Well, I was that boy, and I was skeptical to leave New Mexico. Everything I needed and knew was here. I could drive my dirt bike at the B. I had all my friends that I'd known from kindergarten, and most importantly, I had my family here. But taking the leap was something I will never regret, but not for the reasons I expected. What surprised me most is that being gone made me appreciate being here. Being around so many different people made me understand my core values in a way I couldn't just being around people I grew up with. I didn't know it at the time, but being away allows me to come back now with a new perspective of how valuable our town is, especially the people in it. And I couldn't have known this without taking this leap. When I was at MIT, there was many impressive people 
and it seemed everybody was starting companies. I, I didn't even know this was a thing. There, there was, of course, things I didn't know, but what I realized is that there's a much bigger bucket of things that I didn't even know that I didn't know, and that's the most important bucket to uncover in your life. So chapter two, our young explorer decides to take another leap of faith. He leaves it all behind, drops out of his PhD program at MIT and ventures into the unknown to start a company. At the same time, he meets a girl from Germany and falls madly in love with her. He's so head over the heels, in fact, that he marries her just after five months of meeting. His friends and family are, however, concerned. Is he, is he going crazy? What, what, what the heck is going over, on over there in Boston? So marrying my now wife of 10 years was by far the best decision of my life. Leaving my PhD was the second. From the outside, these decisions seemed extremely risky, careless, and impulsive. But the people who knew me best knew, knew they weren't. I actually could have always gone back to my PhD program. But some business opportunities only come a few times in your life. It would have actually been more risky for me to stay. And I didn't know if it would work out with my wife. Uh, but if it didn't, th that's something I could have lived with. But I couldn't have lived with is not knowing what could have been. And there are two types of decisions, reversible decisions and irreversible decisions. And the important thing I learned is that most decisions in life are actually reversible, but most people don't treat them that way. Internalizing this ha has been extremely liberating for me because when you take the leap, if you fail, most of the time you can reverse it. You can always go back, you can always change it, but success can change your life forever. So chapter three, our adventure works unbelievably hard, nights, weekends, building his company. And eventually, he experiences the sweet taste of success. He sells his company, is featured in Forbes, wins awards, recognized globally. However, in the midst of all these victories, tragedy strikes like a bolt of lightning. He gets a call in the middle of the night. Brad, your father didn't come home all day. The police found his car on fire. He's dead. In one moment, his world was instantly changed forever. One moment, he was on top of the world. The next moment, he experienced a pain he didn't even know existed. So I was devastated when my dad died. I thought I could never move on. He was my hero. There were so many things I wanted to do with him. We were both just always too busy to do them, and I never got the chance. But even in his death, he taught me an invaluable lesson, and that's not to wait. So I moved back to New Mexico to be with my mother, not going to make the same mistake again. It was a good thing because life gave me a second chance. Three months ago, my mother beat cancer. We caught it early one night while she was spending the night at our house, and we noticed some strange symptoms. And after many grueling surgeries, she's still here. I can't tell you how happy I am to have her here and how proud I am of her. Love you so much. And so through this whole story that's been my life so far, I've realized the only regrets I've had in life are the things I didn't do, never the things I actually did do. And this les lesson, the infinite wisdom of life, keeps teaching me over and over again in different forms. One is taking the leap, two is that fail failures are reversible, and three is to not wait. And so I hope when the time comes for you, you won't be afraid to take the leap to talk to the girl you've always wanted to, to travel where you've always wanted to, to tell your father how much you love him and how much he means to you, or to take a risk on the job that you actually love. And so my alma mater, the BHS, graduating class of 2023, I congratulate you on your massive achievement you've accomplished graduating today. And I wish you strength, happiness, and success as you take the next leap into your life. Make Belen proud. Thank you. All right, good evening, everyone. My name is Aaron Torres, the senior vice president of VHS. Oh, you're all too kind, too kind. So, I would like to take this time to introduce 
to you are valuable, valuable assistant principals of VHS, Mr. Red Bird and Ms. Jessica Provencio. Tonight we have the honor of announcing the valedictorian salutatorians for the class of 2023. <laughs> valedictorian Autumn Chavez. Are we? Sorry, Daria. Valedictorian Daria Malanu. Valedictorian Jordan Hadamil. <laughs> Valedictorian Vicente Silva. Valedictorian Tyler Martinez. <laughs> Valedictorian Luis Dalen Castro. Next, I'll introduce our salutatorians, Adani Apadaka Navadi. Salutatorian Luis Franco. <laughs> Salutatorian Isabella Orona. My name is Autumn Chavez. I want to welcome the graduating class of 2023, as well as friends, family, and everyone else joining us here today. I would like to start by congratulating all of my fellow graduates. I know these past, I know these past four years haven't gone exactly how we envisioned high school to be, but we did it. Now, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I do want to say thank you to a few teachers who have helped me to get to where I am today. Starting with Mr. Schmock. Presenting in your class was horrible, and it did make me cry. 
but it helped to prepare me to give this speech today. I would like to thank Ms. Duran for helping me in the process in transitioning from high school to college. I want to thank Mr. Zamora for helping me with classes at UNM and for overall being a great teacher. And lastly, I want to thank Ms. Aragon especially for all of her help this year. I really do appreciate it. I would like to give a special thanks to my mom, my dad, and my sister, as well as my grandparents for supporting me in the decision to pursue valedictorian. Without this support, I don't believe that I would be standing here today, and for that, I am forever grateful. I love you guys. <laughs> Before my grandma passed away, she would always tell me that with the help of God, anything is possible. I still believe this to be true. I would like to not only thank her for teaching me this, but for believing in me. I'd like to think she is looking down on me right now, hopefully proud of the person that I have become. We are moving on to the next chapter of our lives, which for some of us means never seeing each other again. Now, I know this may seem scary to some, but I want to wish you all the best of luck with your futures, and I hope you achieve the goals that you have set for yourself. And with that being said, thank you and congratulations, Belen High School Class of 2023. <laughs> why people refer to the years spent in school as a journey. I was pretty clueless coming into this. My family and I are from Ukraine, which I say to, which I say to justify why my fresh out of family school, eighth grader self, needed to be explained that I was about to be a freshman, which is apparently just a word you guys use when you mean ninth grader. And which is probably also why I didn't really understand what a valedictorian was until about last year or so. Ironic, right? Jokes aside, I want to congratulate the class of 2023 for crossing this finish line. I know that every graduating class has faced its own challenges, but we all had our plates stacked high throughout all four years. There was never a dull moment for the class of 2023, no matter how we might have wished for one. When Ms. Lawson called the six of us into her office to discuss these very speeches, she said that one word she would use to describe this class is resilience. That word has stuck with me ever since. According to Oxford Dictionary, resilience is the capacity to withstand or recover quickly from difficulties. Difficulties like having a new principal every year, like getting shoved into a new routine as soon as we got comfortable with one, like shifting in and out of online schooling when no one was prepared to do so or knew what to expect. Difficulties like returning to school and trying to pretend that nothing ever happened. But we are resilient. We withstood those difficulties and we recovered quickly from them. We climbed those mountains and made it here to graduation. And that is something to be proud of. I have heard many claim that we were all cheated out of normality, out of schooling and cheated out of a chunk of our lives. But on the contrary, I would argue that we have gained so much more. We are forced to learn skills that would have taken us years otherwise to learn. Time management, self-discipline, and yes, adaptability to change. So I want to encourage not only the class of 2023, but everyone who is present here, that if you see a mountain or a bleak horizon before you, take it as an opportunity, not a loss. To quote a well-known phrase, we cannot change our circumstances, but we can change our reactions to our circumstances. Success is an end goal without any restrictions, but the ones we place on ourselves. Grow through what you go through. I want to dedicate this next part of my speech to expressing my gratitude to the people who helped make success possible for me. I never would have been able to, to manage the stress and curveballs of the last four years without the constant security of God's love and peace. Lord knows I needed it. To my wonder, wonderful family for all their support and encouragement. And to Amber, one of my best friends who kept me sane throughout it all. To the wonderful teachers I had in family school, especially Mr. Van, to which I nicknamed the years in his class as the golden years. To Mr. Ulbricht for nurturing the artist inside of me and letting it bloom. To Mrs. Wisniewski for her thought-invoking lectures that gave me new perspectives on the world. 
to Mr. Bolivar for always going above and beyond for his students, and from turning chemistry into one of my least liked subjects into one of my favorites. For Ms. Aragon, for teaching me that writing isn't about perfection. And lastly, I want to thank Mr. Sanchez for his help and guidance as both principal and superintendent, and Ms. Lawson for bringing good change to the school. Thank you all. You are a huge reason as to why I'm here giving this speech today. Again, may the class of 2023 take any change in life as an opportunity, not a loss. God bless you all. Next, I would like to, um, I have the pleasure of introducing our next valedictorian, Ms. Jordan Jaramillo. Good evening to the class of 2023. I cannot believe we are already here. Time really flew by. I could say that it feels like it was just yesterday when we were entering high school, but we have definitely been through a number of obstacles. It gives me such delight to see all your faces filled with joy and eagerness to finally graduate and take on the world. I know every single one of you have worked extremely hard to get to this important day. Our freshman year, we came into the school with an overwhelming sense of excitement and curiosity. It was the start of a new chapter, but not in the way we thought. After leaving for spring break that year, the mandate to be quarantined was announced and we didn't get the chance to return. It was heartbreaking seeing that we didn't get, seeing that we thought what would be two extra weeks of vacation, it had turned out to be two extra years of being separated from each other and dealing with the effects of the pandemic. What made the situation even harder was knowing that we were so young and our minds are not conditioned enough to handle something so extreme like this. But here we are, we did not let the pandemic stop us from succeeding. What we've experienced in the past four years does not define who we are. We may have fallen a few times, but we continued up the mountain. The scars and bruises we received along the way are the ones we now carry with us as the lessons we will learn from and the stories that we'll tell. These trials and tribulations we encountered will only make us stronger, which makes me very excited and optimistic to see what the class of 2023 will bring to this world. Of course, we cannot have made it this far without our family, friends, teachers, staff, and faculty. We owe them all of our appreciation. With that, I would first like to thank Ms. Aragon. You were so great in helping me improve my writing and keeping the whole class organized and on top of assignments. I want to thank Mr. Olberg for the art skills and methods you taught and for being encouraging and understanding when I was down. Thank you to Mr. Band, who played a big part in some of the best and most memorable years at family school. Thank you, Pauline, for believing in me and always staying by my side. Thank you to one of the most important people in my life, Ms. Renee. You have always looked out for me and encouraged me to do my best. Thank you for your support, for believing in me and introducing me to the world of dance. I also want to thank my best friends, Daria, who is the previous valedictorian, uh, Marisa and Elena. I always feel like we're the best versions of ourselves when we're with each other. I will always value our deep and meaningful conversations, our memories, and our understanding for one another. And thank you to my wonderful brother, Andre, who has been an amazing and supportive best friend. You have always brought joy to my life. Mom and Dad, you have provided a strong foundation for me to, by teaching me to have good morals and values, to follow the rules, and have kindness, respect, and humility. Thank you for always encouraging me and pushing me to go above and beyond and never settle for good enough. I truly believe in my heart that I cannot have made it this far without you. Most importantly, I give thanks to God for my family, friends, teachers, and the amazing opportunities he has blessed me with. With that being said, I would like to congratulate the class of 2023. You all have definitely earned your way to this night and I wish you the best of luck for the future and may God bless you. Before I conclude, I would like to say one last thing to this amazing class with a little bit of Dr. Seuss. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Now, please give your attention to our next valedictorian, Vicenta Silva. <laughs> Thank you, Jordan. 
Good evening, Blend High School family, friends, faculty, and distinguished guests, but most importantly, the class of 2023. <laughs> we did it. We made it through the years of school we felt would never end. We're all here to celebrate our accomplishments. Over the past four years, I can say we have all changed. On the first day of high school, we came into the halls clueless, looking for the room numbers printed on our schedules with our third grade pictures in the top right corner. We would go get lunch, put in our student ID, and see that embarrassing picture yet again. Over the next four years, we would learn all the little hacks to get through school easier, earning a little more freedom each time. We would soon learn all the teachers that would make a lasting mark on us. Teachers, without your help over the past four years, I know I wouldn't be up here. None of us would be. In our freshman and sophomore years, Mr. Pemble reassured us that there was no crying in math class. Mr. Ekmadi taught us that it was impossible to beat him at ping pong, and even if you did, it didn't count. <laughs> and Ms. Otagon always pushed us to our full potential in English class, especially with all those sarcastic remarks she keeps up her sleeve. There are many other staff members who have shaped us into the graduates we are today. These three just really seem to make a mark. To my parents, Mom, you have taught me how to stick with it and have motivated, motivated me to strive to do better. Dad, you taught me that hard work and perseverance pays off. To my family, Thank you all so much for your support and encouragement the past 18 years. It has pushed me to work hard and taught me I can accomplish anything with you all by my side. Thank you for all going, thank you all for going out of your way and traveling from Washington, Idaho, Ohio, and Belgium to come and watch Santiago Knight graduate on this special day. It truly means everything to us. Today is a turning point in each of our lives. We spent the past four years wandering the halls of Lynn High, and now it's our turn to go on our own separate paths. We have learned, laughed, gotten in trouble, but most importantly, had fun together. We always looked forward to what would be our senior year. None of us knew it would go by this fast. So here we are, the graduating class of 2023, ready for our next chapter to unfold. God bless you all. I now have the pleasure of introducing my best friend, who also happens to be valedictorian, Tyler Martinez. Thank you, Vicente. Good evening, class of 2023. For those of you who may not know me, I am Tyler Martinez. I am honored to be up here and honored to have the opportunity to address you all. I want you all rest assured this will be short. We have all been through so much the past four years, whether it be positive or negative, but we've made it. You all should be proud of that accomplishment today. I would like to thank our administration and faculty members for their support and for helping us get here today. I want to pay a special thank you to Mr. Hekmati, who always pushed me to be the best version of myself. I would also like to thank Ms. Aragon for believing me and for being the best teacher I've had. I especially would like to thank my parents for their unconditional love and support along with them. I want to thank my brother Jace for always being there for me and for setting a great example. And in case you didn't know, I have always tried to live up to that example. I also want to thank my sister, Abriana for always showing me that we can all be overcomers no matter what we go through in life. Lastly, but definitely not least, I would like to thank God for this opportunity and for the life he has blessed me with. Lou Holtz once said, you'll never get ahead of anyone as long as you try to get even with them. With that being said, as we all take our next steps out into the world, I challenge each and every one of you to always strive to do your best at anything you attempt. I also implore you, class of 2023, never be okay with being mediocre. Thank you, class of 2023, and congratulations. We made it. May God bless you all. Now please give your attention to our next valedictorian, Luis Dalen Castro. Good evening to all the family, friends, staff, faculty, and to the Belen High School 2023 graduates. I want to start by recognizing all our hard work. For 13 years, we have fought hard to get to this point in our lives. We have gone through so many different hardships and experiences that have led us to become the people who we are now. To the graduates, I am proud of all of us here. We have made it to the end and all those struggles have finally paid off. I am incredibly lucky to have great people who helped me through my own struggles. Without them, I would not be who I am today. Thank you to all the teachers who have helped me throughout the years. I appreciate all the hard work, time and patience that you have sacrificed and dedicated to the students. I also want to thank our sponsors, Mrs. Luke, Mrs. Lafayette, and Mrs. Torres for helping us make the best of our high school experience. I want to thank my best friends, Angel, Luis, and Miguel. They have stuck by me through everything, and no matter what, I know I can always count on them to have my back. 
In them, I see more than friends, I see brothers. I want to thank my sister because she has served as an inspiration and a role model for me. Although she has faced many challenges in her life, she has never given up and always finds a way to prosper. I will forever admire that in her. I love you, Monica. I want to thank my parents. Mamá y papá, nunca olvidaré todo lo que ustedes han hecho por mí. Siempre me han apoyado en todo y sé que nunca me han dudado. Sé lo tanto que han sacrificado para darme la vida que tengo y sinceramente no sé si algún día podría pagarles todos sus esfuerzos. Sin embargo, prometo nunca decepcionarlos. Prometo ser el mejor hombre que pueda ser. En mi corazón llevo todos los ejemplos y todos los consejos que me han dado. Además de su sabiduría, ustedes me han brindado un amor y un apoyo que será imposible de olvidar. Los amo. With that, I want to leave you with something to think about as you drive home today. I want to remind you that none of us are perfect and that we all make mistakes. However, I believe that these mistakes shouldn't define us. Instead, I find that a better measure of who we are is how we handle these mistakes. If you want something, never stop fighting for it. Strive to live your life with no regrets. Our lives are too short to dwell in our own overthinking. Don't waste your time. Now it's time to celebrate, not only the closing chapter of our high school story, but also the beginning of a new chapter in our lives. Congratulations, class of 2023. Now please give your attention to our first salutatorian, Adani Apodaca Nevarez. Hi, good afternoon, my name is Adani Apodaca and I'd just like to start off by giving my sincerest congratulations to the class of 2023. All of us have come very far from where we started and it's exciting to see Mova go from here. These past few years have brought a lot of hardships and challenges, but if you're sitting here today, it means you made it. You're done with this chapter of your lives, and you're on to bigger and better things. I'd like to thank all the people who've helped me make it this far. To the teachers that pushed me that extra mile, I'm so incredibly grateful to you all for believing in me and my abilities when even I couldn't. To my friends who have stuck by my side through it all, you mean the world to me. To my family, those who are here with me today, and those watching me from above, especially to my parents and little brother. Means. My accomplice, my partner in crime, my favorite brother. You might be younger than me, but I'll always admire the brave way you carry yourself through life. You've never let anyone's opinion faze you and have always been true to yourself. Please never change that. Para mi mami, mi papi, los amo tanto. Les prometo que cada sacrificio que han hecho por mí nunca será en vano. Aprecio cada enseñanza y todo su esfuerzo. Ustedes son mi más grande inspiración y mi más grande orgullo. No sería quien soy hoy sin ustedes. Su fuerza me ha motivado a seguir luchando por mis sueños. Gracias por estar ahí por cada paso de mi vida y levantarme cada vez que me he caído. Nunca se los podré pagar. Lastly, I just want to say some parting words. Everyone here in front of me has had to fight personal battles to make it this far, and you should all be very proud of yourselves. I hope you take that strength with you and push yourself to become whoever you want. Every choice from here forward will be all for you. Enjoy your independence and everything that comes with it. With that being said, congratulations to the graduating class of 2023. Congratulations. <laughs> now please give your attention to our next salutatorian, Luis Franco. <laughs> Dear fellow graduates of the class of 2023, I want to begin by saying congratulations. We have all worked incredibly hard to get to this point and we should all be very proud of our accomplishments. This moment is truly one of the most pivotal moments in our life as we are about to embark on the next chapter of our lives. For some of us, this means continuing our education at the next level, while for others, it means starting our careers, our careers and becoming adults. But no matter what path we choose, we must remember to keep fighting and pursuing our goals. I would like to take a moment to express my gratitude to the people who have helped me get to where I am today. First and foremost, I want to thank my family. To my blood relatives, thank you for always being there for me and taking care of me ever since I was born. I know I haven't always been the easiest to deal with, but you've all stuck by my side and helped me get to where I am today. I promise to make you proud and not let your efforts go to waste. To, to my adopted family, I want to say gracias por todo lo que han hecho por mí. Without your help and support, I want to be here giving this speech right now. Your love and care has always been instrumental in my life and I am forever grateful for the past three years you've taken care of me. 
Lastly, I want to thank my fans, especially my girlfriend, Brooke. Brooke, thank you for being by my side for the last past two years. You've helped me more than you know, even when I don't tell you. I'm excited to see where our journey takes us, and I know we'll make it far together, happily. To my best friends, Dalen, Miguel, and Angel, thank you for being amazing friends who have surrounded and helped me throughout the years. You're all like family to me, and I wish you the best in your future endeavors. I want to once again congratulate the class of 2023. We have all accomplished so much, and I have no doubt that we will continue to do great things in the future. Let's all continue to pursue our dreams and make a positive impact in the world. Thank you. Now please give your attention to our next salutatorian, Isabella Arona. Dear faculty members, friends, families, and class of 2023 Eagle graduates, today is the day we've been waiting for. Years of hard work have led to this moment. It is a day we will cherish, a day to remember, a day to be proud, and a day to share this amazing joy and accomplishment. I stand here today as a symbol of perseverance and determination. We have all faced challenges that have seemed insurmountable, but we have managed to overcome them one by one. Our achievements are not just the result of our efforts, but the efforts of our entire faculty and staff, our parents, and our community. On behalf of myself and my fellow graduates, I would like to express my deepest gratitude to everyone who has supported us throughout our educational journey. We have been held up by this great community, and for this, I say thank you. We have learned so much from each other throughout the years. We've learned to support each other and to face challenges head on. We've climbed mountains together and lent a helping hand. We've found hope in the BHS halls and have shared laughter all over campus. We pep rallied, we've cried on each other's shoulders, and we've always had each other's back. Leaders and farmers, doctors and professional dancers. Life will hand out lessons each day and we must be willing to humbly accept those lessons. I like to say, life's a dance, you learn as you go, sometimes you lead and sometimes you follow. Now, as we start our lives, our destiny is in our hands. We must have confidence and courage. We must act with kindness and compassion. We must try to bring those around us together. We must be steadfast in the pursuit of happiness and in the quest to fulfill our dreams. The future is ours, but it will take hard work and determination to grasp it. In the end, I would like to say that if we are poised to reach even greater heights and our potential is unlimited, do not forget to follow your own map of the soul, to love yourself, and to most importantly, never forget that you never walk alone. Our journey doesn't end here, but begins with new challenges and opportunities. So graduates, let's go out there, let's conquer the world, and let's make a difference. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to take a moment to remember Joseph C. Padilla, who passed away on October 30th, 2022. Joseph Joe joined the Berlin High School team as a security guard in 2015, and at the time of his passing, he had become the Berlin Consolidated School's security foreman. This wasn't his only career, though. After graduating from Berlin High School in 1989, Joseph served in the U.S. military, earning several medals and recognition for his service. He also had a career at uh, New Mexico Corrections Department from where he retired. After retirement, Joe dedicated all his time to his family and his grandbabies. We, ha uh, we have them here with us today, his family and his loved ones. Over the years, Joe became an important part of the BHS community. 
He would always do what it took for the betterment of the students. He was patient, kind, supportive, and always listened to what students had to say. He would encourage them to do their best and keep working hard for what they wanted. Joe's smile, laughter, sense of humor, passion for life, and love of his family and friends will be greatly missed and forever remembered. We thank his family for being here tonight and for sharing Joe with us for all these years. To his family, we say in Joe's famous words, what do you want for Christmas? And to his friends, Joe would say, do you want to go fishing? Rest in peace, dear friend, and keep watching over all those who knew you. We'd like to have one of the representatives of the family please come up and get a little token of our appreciation for everything that Joe did for our community. I guess it's time now. I'd like to introduce the speaker of the names, Mr. Kenneth Zamora. Class of 2023, first row, stand up. Get in line. Luis Dalen Castro. Autumn Chavez. Jordan Jaramillo. Daria Malinuk. Tyler Martinez. Vicente Silva. Adani Apodaca Nevares. Luis Franco. Isabella Orona. Emily Armijo. (laughs) 
Nikki Baca. Savannah Bach. Malachi Chavez. Evelyn Chavez Perches. Elia Esquivel. Leslie Gibson Otero. Amelia Griego. Esperanza Kanashiro. Michael Leos. Esli Belém Martinez Jaramillo. Marina Montaño. Bobby Orona. Stephanie Orozco. Eden Ortega. Angelica Sierra Padilla Hekmari. Jasmine Pearson. Andy Sice. Julia Serna. Celestina Shirley. Isabella Cisneros. Aaron Torres. Miguel Trigo Peregrino. John Trujillo. Kenneth Trujillo. Marquela Bermudez. Norman Finley. Adam Aguilar. Haley Apolaka.
Emily Aragon. Olivia Armijo. Nathaniel Arvisu. Donovan Baca. Harleyan Barva. Mateo Varela. Jason Barnett. Ricardo Barrera Urbina. Devon Carlisle. Savannah Castillo. Diego Cervantes Ruiz. Garen Cervantes. Carson Chandler. Sydney Chandler. Angeles Chaparro. Anna Lisa Chavez. Caitlin Chavez. Serenity Chavez. Amaya Cisneros. Idalí Contreras. Elías Córdoba. Okay, guys, getting a little windy. Hold on to everything, all right? Wyatt Cordova Jaramillo. Colin Curlis. Deja Dale. Jesus Escarceja. <laughs> Olivia Escobedo. Ciara Esquivel. Emily Estrada Perez. Yeah. 
Gabriela Flores. Keanu Gavaldon. Brian Gallardo Gomez. Adriano Garcia. Cecilia Garcia. Jace Garcia. Contessa Glaser. Andrew Gomez the third. Jasmine Gonzalez. Alexander Gonzalez. Michaela Green. Sari Guerrera. Katarina Gurule. <laughs> Eli Gutierrez. Aiden Hammond. Grant Hagenberger. <laughs> Natasha Heinsen. <laughs> Ethan Heaver. <laughs> Daniel Heinlein. Matthew Holler. Cutter Houston. Alexandria Howard. Olivia Urbina. Jose Ibarra. Adlai Gion Hernandez. Isabel Jordan. Colette King. Holly Lafayette. Vincent Lares Molina. Lazarus Layton. Yeah. 
Roberto Marquez. Lillian Lyle. Jacob Lopez. Juliana Lazoya. Christopher Lucero. Dylan Lucero. Selena Luna. Vivian Lytle. Harmony Manfrey. Shannon Maniscalco. <laughs> Leslie Maris Bari. Constantine Martinez. Madison Martinez. Ryan Martinez. Angelina Matsky. Jacob Medrano. Camila Mejia Navarro. Alessandra Mendoza. Bridget Mendoza Perez. Alexia Miller. Aubrey Moore. Kelly Morgan. Brianna Moya. Troy Norcross. Nathan Nunez. Christopher Otero. Janelle Palma. Jose Parra Esparza. Giovanni Perez. Roger Reyes Ivarra. Kiara Reyes Valenzuela. Marcus Rimmerin.
Abram Rodriguez. Daniel Rodriguez. Sheila Rodriguez. Alexis Romero. Elijah Romero. Isabella Royval. Julie Ruiz. Brooke Sachs. Emily Sice. David Sanchez. Diego Sanchez. Gabriela Sanchez. Nathan Sanchez. Ivan Sarinana. Malaya Sears. Isabel Silva. Santiago Silva. Elijah Cisneros. Luke Smith. Eric Soto. Evan Steinen. Cassandra Torres. It's Lane Torres Juarez. Alicia Tuttle. No. Got the wrong one. Lily Ulbrich. Arturo Varela. Jesse Vasquez. Steven Viegas. Jamie Williams. Tomas Williams. Bradley Wyeth.
Congratulations, graduates. Members of the school board, Superintendent Sanchez, as principal of Boleyn High School, I do verify and hereby certify that the class of 2023 sitting before you has met the high school graduation requirements set forth by the state of New Mexico, the public education department, and by the policy of Boleyn Consolidated Schools. Graduates, are you ready? <laughs> On the count of three, you will move your tassels from the right to the left. One, two, three. Congratulations, you did it. Class of 2023. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that will conclude our ceremony. We'll hear the fight song on our way out. Please make two lines of traffic on your way out the campus. Thank you so much for your attendance this evening.